Alrighty, we are finally here. Hello. It's uh, 13 minutes after starting. Apologies. Um, like I said, the second that I was about to turn on the camera and start playing, um, the dogs decided they needed to go outside. So they took an extra 10 minutes to sniff around and do their thing. But anyway, we are here now. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hello, Melody. And uh, I hope you're doing well. How's it been going lately? I haven't seen you in a minute. Uh, Trashy Rascal, thank you so much for being first. You are the smelliest, most foul, most disgusting, vile creature that has slithered in here today. Therefore, you are my favorite. And I love you. And I hope you're doing well. And let's see. Hello, my love. How's it going? I hope work is going well. I hope it's not too terrible today. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing uh, a little life sim. I think it's like a little life sim. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know too much about this game. I got it in a humble bundle a long time ago. It was like a cottage core humble bundle. I think I got it with Smushy Come Home and uh, Mail Time and a couple of other like, you know, cottage core type things. I love y'all. All in, in all my slithering glory. Oh, wonderful. Oh my goodness. Dagger Hill, hello. How you doing? How are you doing? Um, I'm a little bit tired, but when am I not a little bit tired? Uh, I meant to start at 12. Of course, I was late because, of course, I was. Um, I just can't get it together today. Also, when I first started the, the uh, stream, I had on lo-fi, not realizing that you could hear the music that's currently playing. Oh, I just realized my screen is messed up. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize that you could hear both musics. So it was like a mishmash of lo-fi and game music. Apologies. Okay, there we go. Is that better? I'm good. Also a bit tired. Yeah, it's one of those days. It's it's a Monday. It's Mondaying for sure. Um, but it's all good. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I believe in us. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're gonna get started. I've got my little mug of owl juice. Delicious, delicious owl juice. I've squoze in many an owl to get this owl juice. It's a little bit cold, but it's fine. It was warm when I squoze it. Delicious. Okay. Yo, know, it's definitely a Monday, but glad we got the camp and look forward to it. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I only have a four day week this week. Uh, so me and my brother are going camping later this week. Uh, we are going a Friday and Saturday. Hopefully we have decent weather. Um, but yeah, I am excited. I'm looking forward to that. I took the day off so that we could go, um, we could go up. I'm not even sure exactly where it's at. I don't know if it's like an hour away or two hours away or what, but, um, my brother reserved a spot for us somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. So we are going to go do that and it should be a good time. Hopefully it won't be raining. Hopefully we can have like a little fire and roast some marshmallows and all that good stuff and uh welcome fall because it'll be the first official weekend of autumn so we are going to welcome it by staying in the forest so i'm excited i'm looking forward to that um but yeah okay let me switch over to the game screen all righty weather looks great so far albeit a bit hot but yeah it should be fun be fun to see what Jed thinks too. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I I hope he doesn't end up hating it. I don't think he will. I think he'll like it. I think he'll have a good time. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see because obviously we've never seen him in that type of environment, so it's hard to see or like hard to guess how he's gonna react to it. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be a good time. But all right, let us start up the game.
Yeah, I thought about playing another spooky game this morning, but honestly, I just wasn't feeling like being scared this morning. I figured we would go with something that's still in in the vein of spooky season, but not quite scary because sometimes you just don't feel like being scared, okay? I'm like, it is what it is. <laughs> Last night's game was fun and we got a few jump scares and it was a good time. Uh, but today we're gonna play something a little bit more laid back. All right, let's see. Von Tiesel. Oh, that's just our given name is Von Tiesel. So uh, it's, I guess it'll be Tornathan Von Tiesel. Uh, let's see. Body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Mm. Let's see. There we go. I'm a portly chap, so we're gonna go with that. Um, I'm gonna make them as pale as possible. Moles. Where do you see the moles? Body hair. I want them hairy as, as sin. I want them to look, I want them to look like Oh, I see, like on the legs. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Um, freckles? Where do you see the freckles? I don't see how you're supposed to, like, tell things like this. Um, um, I'm going to give them tattoos, of course, because, you know, of course. I think I'm gonna make them as pale as possible. Like, I want them to look hauntingly white. I want them to look uh, like they have an iron deficiency and and uh, possibly, um, what do you call that? Uh, it's a condition where you have like no color to you. Albino, <laughs> albinoism or leukocytism, or whatever it's called. Okay. Tornathan Von Tiesel. They, them, he, they, he, him, she, he, any pronoun, no pronouns, she, her, she, they, they, them. Uh, we'll go with he, they. That's fine. More? Oh! Face. Short curly. Um, these are some hairstyles. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. <laughs> they look like they're drugged. <laughs> they hate to be there. Uh, Juju, hello. Thank you for the check in. I guess we'll go with these eyes. Eyebrows. Mm, we'll go with those. Is there any way that we could fit another one? Oh, we most certainly can. No, thank you. No, really. Really, Juju. Really. Thank you. Um. Nose. Mm, we'll go with this one, I believe. Oh, that's cute. We'll go with that one. More features. Clips. Sure. Oh, we can have on lipstick. I see. Blush. Mm -hmm. We'll go with no blush. Freckles? Yeah, let's do freckles. Mole. Mm -hmm. No. Shadow? 
<gasps> yes, yes to that. Glitter? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have the glitter. Features? Oh, okay, we already did that. Fashion. Jumpsuit. Look how sassy I look. Western outfit, Ruffles outfit. Oh. Let's see. Fabulous. This is it. That's the one. Bam. I want them to have new hats. <gasps> That's cute. The little hair accoutrement. Ooh, a flower crown. Daisy chain. Flower. Mini flowers. <gasps> Look at the little mini hat. Oh my god. I would wear all of these. These are very juju coated. I can see you rocking any of these outfits. I saw Beetlejuice Beetlejuice yesterday. It was really good. Yes, I'm glad you went to go see it. I freaking loved it. I want to go see it again uh, at some point this week. I think maybe on Thursday I might try to go see it again. Um, no, no, I insist. I just missed that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I really liked Beetlejuice. I thought it was super fun. No spoilers in chat, obviously. Um, but um, I really liked where they went with the story. I liked seeing all the old characters back again. And I liked the new characters. I just really had a very good time with it and highly recommend it. Do I want the little hat or do I want the flower crown? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I think we're going to go with the little hat. No, 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 no. I'm going with I'm going with the flower crown. Do we want glasses? Mmm, square frames. Mmm. Ooh, look at those cute earrings. Edgy earrings. Floral earrings. Hoops. Shapes. Earrings. We're going to go with the celestial earrings. Frames. Um. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm thinking maybe these. Yeah, we're going to go with these. Also, I don't know if I'm feeling this body or not. Let's see. There we go. I like that one. Hmm. Okay. I think we're done. Tornathan Von Teasel. Hmm. I want to get this game just so I can make my own little witchy persona. You should. I got this in a humble bundle, uh, but I don't think it's very expensive. I think it's maybe like 10 bucks or something. This game auto saves when the sun appears in the bottom right corner. Welcome to Flora. I started witchy life story. My name is Tornathan Von Teasel. I am 18 years old. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> I am 18 years old and I have a crow familiar named Ramsey. I dislike listening to my gran and people and drama. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Everyone in my family thinks I'm hopeless, which is why they sent me here to the village of Flora. To prove I'm worthy of having the Von Teasel family name. Or whatever. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my grand told me. Well, I think this is it. Cool, cool. Yeah, the village is pretty small. Do people actually live here? We need to go to the town hall. Right, Gran said something about that. 
Whatever. It was their... Well, I guess it was Grand's choice to send me here. The rest of my family just wanted to disown me. Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? When they could have just... Accepted my genius, let me do my own thing, allowed me to work on that experiment. I'm gonna say let me do my own thing. I have raven black hair and red streaks and fishnets. Very nice. Everybody should get this game and design their, their character to look as fabulous as they want them to look. They could have just let me do my own thing, but no. So I acted out a little. They deserved it. And don't tell me you didn't think it was a little funny. I needed to get my frustrations out somehow. No, Tornathan, that's not how you hold an athame. Tornathan, why don't you wear traditional Von Tiesel garb? A Von Tiesel shouldn't speak like that. Are you sure they are really a Von Tiesel? Maybe someone switched them at bur- Oh. I was just thinking of that awful fan fiction. It sounded similar story. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Yes. Very that. This is, uh, the way they're writing this, it's very much like an edgy teen. It's, uh, it's, it's something else. Listen to me slurp on my coffee. Yeah, I know it's better not to give them any mine, and they're not here to say things. But they're still gonna judge me at the end of it all. Sure, let's head to the town hall. The mayor's supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? Right? I assume this is town hall? Is she the mayor? I think this is it. No, you not. You don't have hands? Use your beak. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. Can I help you? The mayor? I'm Tornathan Von Tiesel. Tornathan? Yes. Von Tiesel? Yes. Is Margie with you? Margie? Marjoram Von Tiesel. Oh, my gran. Nope. I see. Will Marjoram be joining you later? No. I see. Well, this is awkward. Gran, um, Marjoram... Marjoram... Said you'd be expecting us. Well, we were expecting a Von Tiesel, but truth be told, we were expecting... The letter? Oh, that's right. My gran said to give this to you. You take a letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more... I see. I asked Margie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time. And Margie sends me her grandchild, who needs to prove he is worthy of training. Oh, she looks upset. Uh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? I'm sorry, pardon me. I lost focus there for a little. Are you sure? I just should have expected something like this is all. So, you're in trouble? Just a little. But you do know what you're doing. Yes! And more, for the most part. But sometimes I don't. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I don't. And that's where the fun begins. Then tell me, Tornathan, was it? Then tell me, Tornathan, was it? Why do we need... Why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't you be finishing your training at your age? Training is such a structured way of approaching things. I'm more interested in, let's say, throwing things together and seeing what happens. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Mm-hmm. This letter also mentions something about a magazine. Magazine? My Gran mentioned a magazine? Why did Gran have to mention the magazine? Coven Politan. 
Wow, that's hard to say. Covenpolitan. That sounds familiar now that I think about it. That's right. It's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who is an ardent reader. Do you now? Just your luck. It was all a big joke, really. No harm was really intended. Though I guess the... Jade eggs, weed cleansing, mushroom tea. Uh, we're going to say jade eggs. Pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under an alias. Avon Elsit. So it's not like readers knew it was a Von Tiesel witch. My grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon Elsit's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course. So we shouldn't expect any of the same shenanigans? No. And did your grandmother explain that you'd be what you'd be doing here in Flora? Helping out with a festival or something, yeah? I kind of only half listened. We're hosting our annual Harvest Festival, the Floralia Festival, in two weeks. As you know, Harvest Festivals are held to bless our villages and lands with prosperity and abundance. However, for the past, well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, our Harvest Festival has been lacking and thus Flora has grown smaller and smaller. And this year is looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Marjoram. I feel like all of our energies are just off somehow. I was hoping she'd help us with our festival, but... You got me instead! Perhaps this task means Marjoram trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. More like she wanted to distance me and the family. Sometimes space is just the thing we need. Either way, I suppose we'll have to make do. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? All right. You, Ruth, and Ramsey make your way down the hall. Ruth knocks on an office door. Come in. Hello, Mel. This is Tornathan, the witch who will be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness, hello. You look around at Mel's office. You notice all the candles, incense, charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. Darksiders Drake, hello. When you drive your Chevy to the levee, but the levee is dry and them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye, guess this will be the day that you die? Uh, very much so. Yeah, yeah, very that. Mm -hmm. I never like to go down to the levee, to be honest, and I definitely don't like rye, so I guess I won't die. I don't know. But hi, how's it going, Drake? She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging magic. You look so young. That's because he is. This is my friend's grandchild. I see, I see. Mel is my second in command. She's a big help coordinating everything for the festival these past years. Yep, yep. And this year is going to be the best year. I just remembered I have a meeting to go to. If I run, I should still make it on time. Mel, it's right down the hall. Mel runs out the door before you can say anything. She has a lot of energy. That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way. Alrighty. Let's see. Who do we want to go visit first? The dollar sign? This person? This person? At the park? I like this park. I like the look of this park. So let's go to that place first. You walk to the town square. It's in a state of disarray. This is where we hold the Floralia Festival. I know it looks a little chaotic, but it'll come together, I'm sure. Jonas can be pretty dependable. Can be? Jonas, are you around? Hey, Ruth. Aw, they're cute. Hey, Ruth. Whoa, is that a crow? Did you befriend it or something? Ramsey is my familiar. Familiar? Is that what they call pets these days? Tornathan is a witch. Oh! Jonas steps back a little. What's his deal? Our usual builder injured himself the other week, so Jonas is taking over in his place. Yep, tomorrow is my first full day in charge. How are things going? Good, I think. Everything should be in tip-top shape by the festival. Good, good. Well, we'll be on our way. N nice meeting you. 
Nice meeting you too. Jonas walks away at a brisk pace. He must be afraid of witches. A witch hater. Wow, exactly. Yeah, he... I, I, I thought maybe that uh, they were pretty cute initially, but uh, apparently they dislike witches, so... I don't know about that. All right, let's go to this house. This is my home. Let's see if anyone is here. I mean, would you not know if someone was at your own home? You walk into the home and hear someone playing the guitar. That must be Devin. Devin, can you come here for a moment? Oh, um, sure, Ruth. Oh, they're cute. Wow, this person looks uncomfortable. Maybe we came at a bad time. Devin, this is Tornathan, the witch I mentioned. Hello! Devin is friends with my granddaughter, Nisha. They'll be writing music for our festival. That's great. I think it'll be wonderful. Well, we should let Devin get back to work. Nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Devin shuffles their way back upstairs. Or he thinks you're gorgeous. Ooh, true. I didn't think about him thinking that I could be gorge. All right. Uh, let's go visit them. This is the art studio. My granddaughter, Nisha, should be around here somewhere. Oh, what the heck? Now I've got to clean up your mess again. Nisha, is everything okay? Ah, yeah, I just accidentally knocked over some paints is all. Huh, who are you? Nisha, that's not very polite. I'm Tornathan, your witch for the next two weeks. Weren't we expecting someone a lot older? Tornathan is my friend's grandchild and a witch in training. A witch in training? Don't we need a witch out of train? It'll be fine. Tornathan is a Von Tiesel after all. Mm-hmm. Well, we should continue with our introductions. Sure, see you around. Bye. You turn and whisper to Ramsey. I get the feeling she doesn't like us very much. Uh, let's go here and then we'll go to the dollar sign, which I'm assuming is a shop of some sort. <gasps> is this a bakery? You approach a cafe. Let's see if Jean's around. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh. Jean is... Jean could get it. Jean could get it. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh, we're just stopping by. This is Tornathan, the witch helping us out for the festival. Hmm. Have you met Mel yet? Yes. Hmm. Jean and Mel are married. Oh, well. Really? I mean, um, oh, that's nice. Well, we'll be on our way. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction. Goodbye. Jean walks off and tends to a customer. Jean can be quiet, but he's a wonderful baker. Make sure you stop by for a treat sometime. Oh, I love treats. Time to be a homewrecker. I think so. I think I could do it too. I have my ways. I'm a young teen witch. I can, uh, I can make something happen. Let's see. Let's go to the shop here. That's right. We do have a store in Flora. Somehow, I always forget about this store. How do you forget about a village's single store? You should be able to buy some spell materials here. You approach the shop and try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. In fact, the store looks empty. You should try coming back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Ugh, okay. You slow down and you put some distance between you and Ruth. Psst, Ramsey. Do you get the feeling people here don't like witchcraft? Ruth turns around. There you are. I thought I had lost you. I think it's time to show you your home. It's the one with the garden just this way. Haggis, hello. How you doing? How's your day been so far? Ugh, my nose is so itchy right now. Like, it's driving me crazy. 
Good, and you? It's been going pretty well. Um, I got up and I'm still very tired, uh, but I wanted to stream, so here we are. We're streaming a little bit and we're taking a break from the spooky stuff. We're doing something a little witchy and cutesy today um, because I honestly just didn't feel like being scared this morning. So we're, we're doing something just a little witchy instead of a little spooky. Okay, where do I need to go? Oh, I go to my house. That's right. <laughs> where do you want to go? Home, garden, or the village? Home. You walk into a small cottage. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but hopefully it's to your liking. Hmm. It's a little quaint. It'll do. It's perfect. It's perfect. This cauldron shall serve us nicely. Yes, of course. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send in our orders. The garden is just through that door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need to out there, or you need out there. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. There's also this moon altar, the last witch set up. She used to decorate it with items she found around Flora. I think that's everything. We're glad you're here to help us. Mm hmm I'm afraid our village... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. My day has been chill. Very nice. Well, I'm glad that you had a lovely, relaxing day. I would like to say that I'm going to have a relaxing day as well, but after this, I'm going to the gym and then I've got to go to Walmart you know and things like that. So, Move along. Mm -hmm. Hello, girls. How you doing, friend? Gesundheit. Thank you. I'm afraid our village tour has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyway. Tomorrow is your first day on the job. Sure, um, thanks for the tour. Of course, goodbye now. Yeah, all those introductions were a little awkward. Ugh, why did Grand do this to me? They don't want me here, and I don't want to be here. Getting disowned would have been so much easier. There's gotta be a way to get out of this. Think, Tornathan, think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. I mean, it's literally just for two weeks. I think you can handle it. How's it going, Gers? What you up to today? Yes, this is it. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. We just need to be as perfect as we possibly can until then. Then, on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all their problems or whatever, right? That the the whatever thing is getting on my on my nerves. I, I don't like that. That'll solve their problems uh, right then and there. Cheating? How is that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? I didn't think so. Do I really want to go back home, though? I don't know, but we need to get out of here first. The rest we can figure out later. Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. I'm going to need it for tomorrow. Working and lurking, busy day, but nothing gets me out of a lurk like a sneeze. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate the, the, uh, the blessing. And I hope your work day is going well. Hopefully. It's been a lovely Monday. Hopefully it's not been too terrible. Okay. Let's see. What all can we click on? Okay, that doesn't do anything. But I want to look at everything now. So I guess getting some rest is a good idea. Are they going to force me to take a rest? Like, I just, I don't want to take a rest. Oh, I see. What's if I want to change? But I want to look at everything right now. 
So I guess getting some rest. Okay, it's gonna force me to take a rest. I see. I see. Inside Matt, hello. How's it going? Also, hey, thank you for the compliment on my my wonderful mug. It's not um it's not the easiest thing to drink out of, but isn't it cute? It's so adorable and so Halloween-y, and I just I love it. But thank you. Miles, hello. How's it going? Also, inside Matt, hello, and thank you for the follow the other day. I appreciate it. Um, I know our lovely friend Ren Bear was, uh, they suggested your channel to us, and they were asking about, like, horror games. What did you end up playing? Also, if you just want to lurk, that's also fine. You don't, don't feel pressured. You don't have to talk. Um, but hopefully you found something good to play for Friday the 13th. Thank you for the trick-or-treat. Let me get that for you. Uh, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm a little tired and a little sneezy. Uh, it's getting to that time of the year where my allergies start acting up, so that's always lovely. And now I'm all sniffly. Um, I guess I'll do a cherry. Yeah, Ren told me about you guys. I did, but I ended up not playing. Had to take I a like mental health break cold, from technology. My TV loud and my homosexuals flaming. Understandable. Uh, no worries. You know, we all have to take breaks from uh, technology sometimes. Sometimes it's good to just get away from all, like, social media and streaming and things like that. It's good to take a break away from it all and just, like, have a chill-out day and either you know, go hiking or spend your day like watching your favorite show or whatever you need to do. Some days you just need that. I'm finally going to Automat Oz this Saturday. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear what you think of it. I hope you have the most fun. I follow them on Instagram and I love seeing people post from there. And I've watched quite a few YouTube videos of uh, people going and visiting and showing off everything. It looks so awesome. I'm so jealous. I'm gonna play it in October. It's called The Descent. Also, hey, Gigi. I played The Descent about... Maybe about a month ago, I think. Um, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was uh, fairly short. I think it took me like maybe... Maybe like two hours, but... I tend to drag games out. It takes me a long time. Especially if I'm scared. I don't like to move forward. <laughs> There's a wild hone edge in chat. And uh, let me do this. Let me do this sour candy, and then I will do the mouth fire for my lovely husband. Eh, it's all sticky. Oh God. I'm avoiding spoiling myself, so I haven't watched the whole YouTube video on it. Yeah, I would want, like, if I was going, I would definitely avoid all that. Just so you can go and experience it and be fully into it. Um, I, right now, don't have any, like, prospect of going. Like, I don't see myself going in the next, like, year or two. So, I watch the videos, but, um... I hope you have the best time. It looks really, really fun. <clears throat> Are you ready to end the day? Not really, but it's forcing me to. Is it morning already? I think it's time for beauty magic. Can I sleep a little longer? Let's get back to that experiment. Um, I think it's time for beauty magic because I want to get rid of my eye bags. Even though I'm only 18, I have severe eye bags. I feel like it will be better in person. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. I hope you have a wonderful time and I hope you have really good weather. 
and I hope it feels all lovely and fall like huh I have work to do no I thought that was a bad dream well maybe if you didn't remind me I could have stayed in my ignorant bliss and everyone will be amazed I can't read yes yes I will go check my mail now How do I go check the mail? Hmm. This way? Call, call! No, I'm not avoiding the orders. Dear Tornathan, Alrighty, what do we have here? Looks like our first request is from Ruth, the mayor. Let's see what intentions and associations we can pull from her letter. Dear Tornathan, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I've been feeling a little detached from everyone recently. I've especially felt disconnected from the festival. I do still care, but who knows? Maybe some incense could help me work through some things. Sincerely, Ruth. What are these things? Detached from everyone. Disconnected from the festival. Oh, I see. Looks like Ruth needs some relationship focused incense with a pink ingredient and another one associated with Pluto. So basic. Good. This won't take long. Or grumble. I'm getting the Judy Garland fragrance from my grandmother. Ooh, I didn't even know they had a Judy Garland fragrance. That's awesome. I'm sure she will love it. And that is a very sweet gift and very nice of you to think of her. I can't crunch down on this candy. It's not letting me. Because it's so thick and sticky. I want to go ahead and do the, um, the hot bean, but I guess I'll have to wait. I'll do it shortly. Gran always blows things out of proportion. Fine, I'll quit complaining and keep reading. Jeez. Except. Tornathan. It's Mel and I's anniversary soon. Mel likes magic. Perhaps a potion that could help us celebrate our current and future happiness together would be a good gift. Jean. Anniversary. Celebrate our current and future happiness together. Hi, Tornathan. I hope I'm not bothering you. Could you craft some incense that attracts positive energy? Ideally, something that promotes tranquility. Maybe happiness, too? Thank you, Devin. Attracts positive energy, promotes tranquility, and happiness too. Yeah, none of these seem too complicated. I guess it's time to gather materials and ingredients. We can go to the general store to purchase bottles and stuff, or gather ingredients from the garden. Which do you think we should do first? I should open my grimoire first? <laughs> yes, I'll make sure to make a habit of checking my inventory and active orders. Press G to open your grimoire. Flip through the pages or use the tabs to go to different sections. I don't have anything. Adult points, please. I just loaded the dishwasher and put on laundry. Ooh, very nice. I actually have some laundry in the dryer that's been there for about four days now that I need to actually take out and fold. Uh, so yeah, I don't get my adult points until I do that. I didn't load the dishwasher, but I did put up some dishes before I started streaming. So I got, it's like I did everything halfway. I kind of like half-assed everything. But, um, but yeah, we'll finish later. 
but congrats. I added Land of Oz to my weather app to keep an eye on the weather. Nice. Half ass is better than not at all. True. True. I could have used no ass. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you have really good weather miles. My brother and I are going camping this weekend and I'm hoping we have good weather. So far it looks okay. Hopefully it stays that way. Rose, chamomile, rosemary, lavender. If you add compost to this. Okay. I'm not quite, I'm not quite following. Like water will make it thrive. Compost will make it thrive or this can turn into compost. Spells require a base material. You should use a bottle for potion, a bag for charms, a square bottle for oils, or a bowl for incense. Enchantments. These are magical items. They require a deep understanding of their requestee and their situation. Hmm. Ruth needs incense for figuring out her feelings. Heart, pink, and that letter. Heart, orange, and the female symbol. Okay, um... Positive and peaceful incense. How do we know? Hmm. Plants? Okay, rose. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> this is all very confusing. <laughs> Let's see. Because um, I see the colors here, and I see the symbols. So we need Alium. We need Calendula. And Hollyhock, I believe. And Yarrow, because this is what um, Devin needed. So let's go out to the garden and see if there's Alium, Yarrow, Hollyhock, and Kandula. So now we go to the garden or village shop, right? Through the door we go. Uh, let's go to the garden. Honestly, it's a little creepy how well maintained this garden is. They really not know who did it? Yes, I know it's my problem now regardless. Got to pick, water, and weed everything. At least it seems like we've got a compost bin. We can probably use that to turn weeds into fertilizer. That should help the plants grow a little faster. Yay, gardening. Mm, where are the weeds? I don't see weeds. Gardening overview. Use the gardening tools to tend to your garden. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. First, harvest the flowers and herbs with the shears. 
Make sure to water them after you harvest to ensure they bloom the next day. Though the rose, lavender, rosemary, and chamomile take an extra day to regrow. You can also pull the weeds while you're using the gardening gloves. The weeds can then be turned into fertilizer at the compost bin. Fertilizer helps the plants in your garden grow faster. Okay, so let's get some of this. We'll get some of this. Some of this. Some of this. We need two of everything. Let's just let's just just get it all. Just get it all. Okay, so we got all that. Okay, so we watered. Now we need to put on our gloves and do the weeds. Okay. So now... Did we water that? I think we did, yeah. Okay, we watered everything. So I think we're done here. At least they're making this relatively simple. So thank God for that. Weeds, weeds, weeds. Hello, you filthy, stinky goblin streamer. Hi, zombie lady. How's it going, friend? What you up to today? What you getting into on this fine Monday? The filthiest. Oh, I'm so filthy. I actually have not bathed yet today, so I am pretty stanky and not even going to lie. So much lavender. And only one rose? Wow. This, I assume, is rosemary. I was thinking about streaming, but I fear I'm not as filthy as you. I mean, you don't have to be on my level of filth. Like, that's a whole different level of filth. Like, if you're aspiring to be as filthy as me and my disgusting husband, mm, I don't know. That's that's a high bar. And I, I think if you're waiting for that, the day will never come that you will stream. So what you need to do is follow your heart and be the best zombie lady that you can possibly be and you should stream so yeah follow your heart do some streaming what do you think you would be streaming if you do decide to stream you actually worked from home today so same <gasps> you haven't bathed today either oh my god bathing is overrated And then on top of that, I'm about to go to the gym after this and I'm going to smell so stanky. I will take a shower after that uh, because I will definitely need it because I will be disgusting at that point. Okay, I think we got all the weeds. Let's go to the compost bin. We have nine weeds. Making compost. Turn weeds into compost. Okay. So what does the compost do? Makes stuff grow faster. Can we do the roses? 
Let's do the roses. I don't really know what we need most of. There's only one rose though. So maybe that. And the stuff that we only have like one of, we should do that. Like this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it grew the roses again. Okay. I didn't even notice that. Okay, we're gonna save the last bit. Um... Gardening done! To the general store now? Village. Let's go to the store. Looking to purchase some items? Jimena. Hello, my name is Jimena. You must be Tornathan, the new witch. I knew it was a good idea to keep my old stock around. No good throwing th no good throwing things away that someday someone might buy. I also carry some antique antiques antiques at a premium price. My daughter sends them to me when she's off on her travels. She always says she will visit with her girlfriend, but we'll see. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. Take some of this resin and these bottles, vials, and sackets? Sackets? Free of charge. Now promise me next time you come to my shop, you'll buy one of the antiques. No one here has an appreciation for old things. But now it's time for my mid-morning tea, so I must close the shop. She's like, I've been open for almost an hour and I've got to take a break or I'm just gonna lose it. Some antiques. Yeah, BRB. Okay. Enjoy your BRB. Enjoy the supplies. First order. Complete your first order. Yeah, that shopkeeper was pretty generous. But did you see the price tag on those antiques? I hope she was kidding about having to buy them. Anyway, it looks like I've got everything to start cranking out these spells. Let's get back inside and check out the crafting altar. 20 pounds of metal. Sounds like Marnie and Stardew, which is never open. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, Marnie's got a busy life, you know? She's got things to do. She's got sultry, sinful things to do with the mayor. Okay, I'm gonna do the 20 pounds of metal, but I forgot I have to do the uh, hot bean for my lovely husband. So let me, let me just do that. Carolina Reaper, great. The hottest one, fantastic. So red with dark red spots. We might actually be out of this one. I think we might actually be out of the Carolina Reaper. So I'm going to have to take the uh, Cayenne, which is the one below that. Because we've got Cayenne, but we don't have the Carolina Reaper. So. I forgot how bad these are. It's been a while. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gross. That's very warm. Okay. Yep, my tongue is still on fire. Love that for me. Jelly Dog, Jelly Dog, Jelly Dog 100, hello. Good to see you. How are you? What have you been up to today? What you been getting up to on your Monday? All right, let me do 20 pounds of metal for Dagger Hilt. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we did the thing. Thank you for that dagger help. Much appreciated. I'll pull down my sleeves a little bit. They're riding up on me. But yeah, I hope you've been. I hope you've been having a good day, Jelly Duck. Always lovely to see ya. I'm a baby with hot peppers. Um, maybe you should get some of the. Bean Boozled, Fiery Five, and you should practice. You should build up your tolerance. You should get some of these, and it'll totally help you get over your fear of hot peppers. I felt like a spider web or something was on me. Okay, so we went to the store. Oh, do we have to go back home? Home. Gotta go to the crafting altar, which I assume is this one. I've got some flowers, herbs, and some bottles, vials, and stuff as base materials. So let's craft some spells. Of course, I don't know what spells, but I'm sure I can figure it out from the info in my grimoire. Pretty sure it said what plants match which associations. So let's open it up and go from there. My mouth is still on fire. Crafting overview. Open your grimoire and go to the orders tabs to see current orders. Click a character portrait to pin their order. Then go to the plant section to match the symbols from the orders to plants. Click the chest of drawers to view your available plant ingredients. I'm just chilling using my old laptop, which is slow. I'm sitting at Starbucks. It's very late for me. Yeah, you're like, you're several hours ahead of me. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely late for you. But hopefully you're having a nice chill time at Starbucks, even though you're having to use an old laptop. But, uh, I appreciate you being here and stopping by. Click the chest of drawers to view your available plant ingredients. There should be three plant ingredients total. Make sure to check the type of spell the villager wants too. You can see what base material matches what spell type in the recipe section. Base material matches the spell type in the recipe section. Click the base materials on the altar to cycle through the ones that you have in your inventory. Click the base materials on the altar. Oh god. Once you think you have the right ingredients and base material, click the cauldron to craft the spell. God. I need to make incense. Orders. Start with Ruth. Ruth needs incense. Ruth needs incense for figuring out her feelings. So heart, pink, and a P with um a P that's sitting down. How do we pin it? Heart, pink, P sitting down. Yeah, I said that. I said that. Uh, okay. So... Oh. Oh god. This is, this is a lot. Pink Pluto incense. I'm going to keep. Oh, pink Pluto incense. I'm going to keep on dancing at the pink Pluto incense. Yes. Uh, 
Now I'm going to be singing that song, the actual song, all day long. I saw this awful 80s zombie movie the other day. So much fun. I love awful movies. I figured, well, I didn't figure out. Um, uh, our lovely friend Cody. <gasps> Return of the Living Dead is so good. I love Return of the Living Dead. And Return of the Living Dead 2. I think I like Return of the Living Dead 2 slightly more than Return of the Living Dead 1. Even though it's essentially the same movie, just... Like, it even has some of the same cast members and everything. Um, it's a really good... Like, they're just great. And Return of the Living Dead 3 is not terrible. It's definitely a different vibe. But after the third one, they get kind of really, like, unwatchably bad. But yes, our lovely friend Cody uh, found a... I saw a zombie movie, or... It was like a haunted house movie, but there was a, a cemetery outside, and there were zombies, and it was called Spookies. I had never seen it before, and um, I really enjoyed it. It was very, very cheesy. Dead Alive is fantastic. Dead Alive is one of my favorite zombie movies. I guess you could count it as a zombie movie. Um... It's so much fun and so gory and so silly and over the top. And I love, I just love the whole like last like 20 minutes of the movie is so good. Jelly duck. The one girl is just naked for absolutely no reason the whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> we love that though. Directed by Peter Jackson. I know a lot of people, I kick arse for the Lord. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that he directed that, that movie. It's so good though. Does this look like a well-maintained frontage to you? Okay. So heart, pink, Pluto. Incense. Pink Pluto incense. Okay. So... Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm in way over my head here. Okay. Okay, so Hollyhock. I need Hollyhock. I need... Alium. Which is this one. <clears throat> Plants. I'm in way over my head here. <laughs> Love. Spells require a base material you should use. Yeah, he made Lord of the Rings and King Kong also. Yes. Which Lord of the Ring <clears throat> Lord of the Rings is one of my all time favorite like movie franchises. It's so freaking good. I cry every single time. Uh, love. Incense. Okay. So, book, color, Oh, is that the planet Pluto? Book color Pluto. So, okay. And Rose. Yes, we picked Rose for a reason. Ah, for love. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew, I knew I had seen that symbol somewhere. Thank you. Ruth needs incense for figuring out her feelings. Okay. Hmm. I don't think this spell is quite right. I should recheck the ingredients in the base material. Oh, I forgot. I gotta check. Hmm. There we go.
reconnect incense <clears throat> keep crafting or finish yay we did it i'm glad it didn't let us mess up because honestly i wasn't sure if i was going to do it right or not keep crafting okay now i think devin also needed incense i believe Devin needs some positive and peaceful incense. So shield, blue, I don't know that symbol. Uh, I should I should know that symbol, but I don't know that symbol. <laughs> okay, um, shield, incense. Mercury, thank you. So, shield, so we need rosemary. Rosemary. Blue. Pea flower. And Mercury. Yarrow. Okay. <gasps> Blessing incense. Hooray. We did it. Keep crafting. Okay. What is the last order that we need? The one for the anniversary. Gene needs a potion for his anniversary. Aww. Okay. So we need Rose. We need Rose. Calendula and Hollyhock. Okay. Which one is for potions? Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Bottle, sacket, resin, vial. I don't remember which one we're supposed to use for which. Uh, oh, there we go. For potions, the green bottle. Okay. Happy love potion. Venus. Mercury. Hold on. It's reminding me of a Lady Gaga song, and I can't remember which one. Don't you know my ass is me? Yeah, I can't remember the, the title of the song, but it's where she's naming off different planets. Now serve for the gods. Finished. Finished! All done. Time to deliver these amazing spells, but what if I just sneak in a little extra? Time to deliver these amazing spells. And then everyone will be super impressed and my grim will realize my genius. Cool, cool. Hey now, a witch is allowed to stream. Let's just get this done. Okay. I love how the, the flowers look hanging up here to dry. That's very pretty. G-U-Y. Probably. That's one of my, my favorite songs by her, so... G... G... I don't know, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, I'll have to... I'm gonna look that up later. I can't think of Venus without... Oh, maybe it is the... Maybe that is the song. Maybe... Is it called Venus? I don't remember. Um, I do love GUI, though. 
Um, I love Lady Gaga so much. Same. I don't. I'm. I haven't followed her as closely in the past couple of years, but <clears throat> but I used to be like a huge fan. I went to like <clears throat> when I was a uh dumb idiot who didn't realize how credit cards work i maxed out a credit card to go to the monster ball <laughs> one time and so uh yeah it was worth it then martzy ghost hello how's it going welcome in welcome in early birdie yep we are doing an early stream today okay we need to go to town you ready to head out ramsey wait you're not coming with me i've got to do this on my own Please, Ramsey, don't make me do it. But what if I give you some tasty bug treats later? I know they're your favorite. Hmm, fine. Be that way. See if I ever help you again with a situation you loathe. Village. Stupid Ramsey. <clears throat> I don't need him. Or I'll have to make him a special snack. Mmm, I'll just do this one. I don't want to talk to people, but I guess I will now. Put on your social face, Teasel. How's you? I'm doing very well. It's been a good day. It's bothering me that I can't think of this Lady Gaga song. Don't you know my ass is famous? What is the name of that song? Um. Anyway. Uh, but yes, I'm doing very well. We're just having a chill day, playing a little witchy game. You can do this. Okay, let's go to Jean. Talk to Jean. How are you doing today? What you up to? Make him a special snack. What about putting a slice of bread on each side of his head? <gasps> wow, I see. Making him into a snack. I see. It became a meme for a second. That specific part. Interesting. I didn't know that. I don't remember that. First delivery, Tornithan. You've got this. Sniffs. What's that smell? <sighs> you approach the door to Jean's home and see the door slightly ajar with smoke coming out of it. Oh no, Jean, are you in there? My first day on the job and my client might be burning to a crisp. But at least it's not my fault. Grumble, cough, grumble. Jean is in there. I've got to get him out. Hang on, Jean. I'm coming in. You run into the house and see Jean covering his mouth as he tries to fan out the smoke with a towel. Let me get the windows. You run around opening all the windows. Once open, the smoke quickly dissipates from the house. What happened? Are you okay? Jean looks down at a baking sheet full of burnt something. I see. Um, well, I've got your potion. Give Jean the happy love potion. Jean, maybe ignoring you, starts cleaning up the burnt mess. I guess I'll uh, just leave this on the counter. Grumbles. I'll take that as a yes. You put the potion on the counter and take a peek at Jean. He looks very angry. Maybe chatting will help take his mind off of things. So it's your anniversary? Do you have any fun plans? Alright, well he doesn't want to talk right now. This music is getting very tense. Also, I'm pretty sure it's just called Venus. Okay, maybe it is. I was like, that doesn't sound right. That sounds like a different song from a different artist. Doing good, just making ash browns. I've never had ash browns. I love hash browns, though. They're delicious. Is there a mason jar next to the door to make it slightly ajar? I get it. I see what you did there. I'd be angry if I burnt the stuff I was baking. Yeah, that's why I probably should have come back later. How long have you been... Please leave. Huh? Now. Okay. He's mean. What if the rest of my deliveries are like this? I want to go home. Talk to Devin. You arrive at Ruth and Nisha's home, hoping to catch Devin. They seemed pretty nervous the last time you met. You should probably go... You should probably do your best not to make any sudden movements. Hi, um, Tornithan, right? Are you here to deliver the spell? Yup, yup. Just let me find it. Here it is. Give Divin... Bleh, Divin. Give Devin the blessing incense. 
Thanks, I hope Ruth and Nisha like them. Hmm, they seem to be more talkative today than yesterday. You wonder why. Back home, my family uses these to cleanse our house once a season. It's just a little ritual we do, but I've always liked it. You have a witch back in your village? Yep, he's been around for ages. Everyone in the village loves him. Though I think our village is a little more open to magic than Flora. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, I can't tell if folks are happy to have me here or not. Their welcoming was a little... odd. Though I guess it wasn't exactly what they asked for. I'm sure they are. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Huh? I'm not upset. You're not? Not at all. What did one plate say to the other plate? Dinner is on me. But I'm Terrible. I'll just have to show them how great I am. What they think... What they think isn't my problem. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. What? What kind of tricks? The fun kind. Like pulling flowers out of a hat? <laughs> like turning people into toads and then throwing those toads into a cauldron of boiling water and then eating... Just kidding. Or am I? I'm a little jealous, even with your quirks. Quirks? You seem like a very secure person. I very much enjoy being me. Even though you must feel lonely not knowing anyone here. I have Ramsey. And your grandmother sent you here without telling you the complete truth. How do you know about that? Also, the pressure of not failing so you can complete your training must be a lot to deal with. News travels way too fast in small villages. Is this what it's normally like talking to other people? But I suddenly feel very... heavy. Oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Nisha says I have a way of reaching into people's souls and crushing them. Is this witchcraft? No, just me protecting my... No, just me projecting my anxieties. I'm sorry. Wait, does this mean you're nervous? Only because you made... Because I'm nervous too. Nisha didn't tell me anything about having to compose the music for the festival. I thought she just wanted to hang out all summer when she asked me to come here. And when I confronted her about it, she just said oops and thought she mentioned it. She what? Human friends are overrated. Let's curse her or time to rise to the challenge. What did one butt cheek say to the other butt cheek? We've been through too much shit to leave each other. Wow. Gross. Gross. Time to rise to the challenge. And show Nisha's who's boss. I don't think I have that kind of energy. Be bold, Devin. Be brave. But I don't want to be bold or brave. I just wanted to hang out this summer. So now the pressure is on to perform in front of a bunch of people I don't know. Oh no, Devin is starting to look like they did yesterday. Time for an emergency subject change. How long have you and Nisha been friends? She was one of the first people I met at school. In a way. In a way? I would find these drawings slid under my door every morning. Eventually, I put two and two together and realized it was mornings after I'd been practicing my music. One night, I stayed up and waited for the drawing, and I caught Nisha in the act. She'd been making drawings inspired by whatever I was playing at the time. She was embarrassed when I caught her, but as soon as we started talking, it was like we'd always known each other. Wow. That's like almost romantic, or sounds like true friendship. Yep, I valued Nisha's friendship a lot. She's had my back a lot of times. Friends can be great, right? Right, Tornathan? Oh no, time for another emergency change of subject. I don't have friends. That was not an emergency change of subject. Wait, like none at all? That explains a lot. There's a Glalian chat if anybody needs one. That's fine though, I'm not great at making friends either. Honestly, I think it's pretty hard. Opening up to people, putting yourself out there. Maybe us nobodies from Flora should stick together. You know, I'm usually not this forward with people, but I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay. Mm. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Yay, allies and awkwardness. I'll let you get back to work. I'm sure you have lots to do. Bye, friend. Uh, bye. A new friend? That isn't a familiar? Is my heart fluttering or pounding? Maybe both? This is a very strange feeling. A strange feeling indeed. I'm glad there's only one more delivery to make. Talk to Ruth. You walk up and knock on 
Bah. I don't have friends. They disappoint me. That's all they're there for is to disappoint you and let you down. I know I let people down as frequently as possible. I like to build them up and then crush them. It gives me like cheap tingles. You walk up and knock on the door. Tornathan, good to see you. Can I help you with something? Yep. I've got your order. <laughs> Reconnect incense. One batch of reconnection incense handmade by yours truly. Wonderful. How exciting. These should help me get back into the swing of things. Are you not excited about the festival? Oh, I wouldn't say that. It's just been hard to motivate myself recently. Perhaps my old age is finally catching up to me. How long have you been the mayor of Flora? Hmm, maybe 40 or so odd years now? 40 years? It does sound like a long time when you put it that way. You must be like the best mayor ever to get elected for 40 years straight. Now, I don't know about that. Mostly I ran uncontested. Flora is a small village, so there aren't many people vying for my position. Though I suppose Flora hasn't always been small. So much has changed over the years, especially the festival, and perhaps not for the better. Sorry, you don't want to hear the grumbles of an old lady. No worries. I've got some revenge magic. I'm used to grumbling old ladies. My spells can fix everything. Uh, my spells can fix everything. This must be the ego I've read so much about, though I could probably use some of that energy. So could my gran. She's always all... Tornathan, magic doesn't fix things. It aids in the fixing of things. There's a difference. Grandmothers. We are the ones that ruin all the fun. Does that mean a grandmother shouldn't be in charge of the festival? That is a good question. Young people like you give us all these energies, though. We've got our best... Blah, 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 blah. We've got to do our best to keep up. I love this festival because of the energy of everyone coming together towards a common goal. Not that everyone isn't working hard now. I know they are, but I somehow don't think it feels that... Wow. I can't read. I am giving up. The look I see on yours and nerds' faces really does it for me. Oh, when you shatter our souls? Or, or when we disappoint you? Because, like, the look on my face when I disappoint another person is one of pure joy. I just, you can see how much happiness I get out of crushing people's souls. Well, for me at least. Oops, here I go again with my grumbles. Wait, were you only excited for the festival because other people were excited about the festival? I wouldn't say that's entirely true because that, mean, that would mean you were never truly excited for the festival. <clears throat> now just hold on a second. It's part of my job as mayor to make sure others are excited, not just myself. I think I know why you've run uncontested all these years. Being mayor is annoying. Being mayor is exhausting. Being mayor is torture. Being mayor is exhausting. Having to keep everyone happy to make sure you're happy? That sounds like... <sighs> huh? Ruth? It's that same expression from yesterday. Did you lose focus again? Oh, she's real. She's big mad. She's big mad. What the? Greetings, Tornathan. Are you excited about the festival? Uh, It's just around the corner, you know, and there's still so much to get done. What's going on? I do hope you enjoy your stay in Flora. We're so happy to have your assistance during this time. I must get back to my mayoral duties, if you don't mind. Have a lovely rest of your day. Ruth subtly but definitely pushes you out the door. Is she possessed? What in the world? I'm just going to pretend that, that was totally normal. At least that was the last delivery, which means I at least get to go home now. I think I'm ready for a nap. What look? Yeah, what look, Juju? You've got to tell us more. What look are you specifically talking about? home I'm home delivery is completed and I'm exhausted how was my first day I think I've decided people are weird 
Yes, I'm trying, but this whole fitting in thing is hard. I guess everyone seemed friendly except that Gene guy. He kicked me out of his house, and before you ask, no, I did not set it nearly on fire. He did. I actually tried to save him, but I guess Devin and I are friends now because they also don't have friends, or at least not many. And the mayor seems a little off. I don't know. It's been a weird day. I think I just want to go to sleep now. Yeah, just gotta keep up till keep it up till the full moon, and then all will be sorted. I don't know what this 190 is. I don't know what that. Yeah, I don't know if that's our money or what. Me shattering your hopes and dreams. If only I had hopes and dreams for you to shatter. Oh my god. No hopes, no dreams, just, just existing. Okay, I guess they want us to go to bed, but I don't want to go to bed yet. I want to, can I go back out to the garden? No, now's the time for sleep. Wow. They really force you to go to sleep, like, when they're like, no, we're done for the day. We're for real done for the day. Being emo wasn't just a phase, mom. Also, hello, Bird Beach. Bird Beach. I love that name. <laughs> How's it going? Are you ready to end the day? Not really, but you're forcing me to, so yes. What the hell am I feeling? I feel like, like, um, it feels like a spider web or something on me. Good time zone. Hope you're doing well. I am. It's been a very good morning so far. And by morning, I mean afternoon because it is two o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, but it feels like morning to me. So, but yeah, I'm doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. Yawn. It's morning again. And we have more orders already? Looks like we've got another full day ahead of us. Guess we better get it started. All right, so let's check our orders. Hello, Tornathan. This is my first time writing to a real witch. So exciting. Anyway, I'm dealing with a stubborn supplier who won't give me what I need. Do you have a charm to change my circumstances? I still have much to do. Best regards, Mel. Dealing with a stubborn supplier change my circumstances I really should know all these planets but I don't I'm terrible with symbols uh Samus I always feel like I say it wrong is it Samus or is it Samus Samus or is it Samus I don't know the character very well so I apologize the Sun okay Thank you, Juju. Look at you. You and your witch ways. Oh my god. Oh, fuck yeah. First one is right. Samus. It's not ethnic, it's hippie. I had the name before she did. I'm very defensive about the- Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that was your- Is that your actual name? Well, you don't have to, like, get into it. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said. I'm not trying to dox you or anything. It's my name. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Samus. Okay. Well, I like that name. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad that you had the name first. That's very cool. Very, uh, nice name chosen. What? Never mind. Too easily searchable. Very nice. I would guess so with that name. Yo, Tornathan, my stomach is in knots. I'm so nervous about this whole thing being in charge. This whole being in charge thing. How do I tell people what to do? Are they even going to like me? You got a potion for that? Help, Jonas. Being in charge thing. Tell people what to do. Like me. Oh, are they even going to like me? Okay, got you. Off to work, Lurk. Hugs, friend. Thank you so much, but I understand the confusion on a video game streaming platform. Right. Yes, very much that. But okay, thank you so much for the work, Lurk, and I appreciate you dropping in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 
25 years ago, I made an RP character called Serafina Oriana. She was a fire mage, and it was the tune I rolled into uh, any RPG game I played. Then someone put a fucking Serafina into League of Legends, and everyone asked after that if I named myself after her. Wow, that would suck. That really would suck. <laughs> like, you've been playing this character for 20 plus years, and then all of a sudden there's a character and people think that you named your character after them. Interesting. Hey, it's Ornithan. You know how I'm working on that art piece for the festival? Well, I'm trying to look into my inner outer self for that spark, if you know what I mean. So what do you say about helping me achieve my artistic greatness with a potion, Nisha? My inner outer self, spark, achieve my artistic greatness with a potion. Okay, let's go out to the garden. All right, um... Hmm. Huh, it looks like Ramsey is trying to get my attention. Maybe I should talk to him. Huh, you've got something for me? But only if I give you a treat first? Okay, okay. One crow treat coming up. Give Ramsey a treat. Oh wow, this is a rose quartz? Where did you find this? It's a secret, and there's lots more where that came from. Then let's make a deal. If I give you treats, you find me more crystals, okay? Yay, shiny things. When you find more of these, let me know. Crystals are always useful for witchcraft. Get your first crystal from Ramsey. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, where do I see my book? There we go. Okay. Oh, I guess I can go out here and look at it. Here in the garden. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Like with, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Uh... Never mind. My brain isn't working right now. Everyone, avert your eyes. Don't look at me. Okay. I'm not getting the reference, I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, I can't pick anything there. I can pick things here. This is a very chill game. I like it. I like it. Um... <gasps> there was a Wooloo and y'all just let it escape? Oh my god. I got the lyrics wrong, but I got the reference in spirit. You never told me it was there? I was playing RimWorld still. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what's happening in chat. You never told me it was there. 
What did I not tell you it was there? Uh, and how's RimWorld going? You gotta call them out. You called Juju out? The Wulu? Oh, you never told me it was there. I'm so sorry. You missed the Wulu. I'm so sorry. Great, everyone is dying. Very nice. I've never played RimWorld. I don't even know if I've ever seen anyone play RimWorld, so... So easily confused by things. I am. I'm dumb. I have a very simple brain. I, that's why I'm not really cut out for streaming, because, like, I forget things. Like, I'll say something, and then literally 30 seconds later, I will forget what I said, and then somebody makes a reference to it in chat, and I just, I'm lost. So, yeah, I, I'm just not very bright. It is what it is. Okay. Um... Okay, so what do we need? Shield, magenta, sun, rosemary. We should have enough rosemary. Rosemary. Geranium. Candula. Calendula. I should probably write these down, but... <clears throat> no. Inventory. Rosemary. I wonder if I need more rosemary. Let's see. We'll see what the other orders are. Star blue. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chamomile. Blue. Pea flower. Calendula. Or no, no, not calendula. Geranium. How much geranium do we have? Okay, we're good on that. Star, so star, star and sun, calendula. How much calendula do we have? Calendula and chamomile. Okay, we should be good. It's okay, we're simple country folk. It's called ADHD. I have been told at work by someone that I I they think that I have ADHD and it it's a it's definitely a possibility. I don't know for sure, but uh I am very easily distracted and confused and forget things. So Okay. Um I think we can go make stuff now. Okay. We needed needs a charm to deal with some stubborn folks. Okay. Charms are in the bag. Okay. Charm recipe plant. So we need rosemary, geranium, calendula. Rosemary, geranium, calendula. Rosemary. Oh, I should pick it out of the drawer. Rosemary. Calendula, right? And was it geranium? My god. 
Rosemary. Calendula. Geranium. Yes. Okay. Overcome charm. How ironic would that be? <laughs> For both of us to have ADHD? It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. <clears throat> I feel like it fits both of us. Like, a lot of the qualities fit both of us. Dread Optimist, thank you so much for the check-in. I hope you're doing well today. Okay. Orders. Okay, star blue that. Yep, 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 yep. Star chamomile. Pea flower. And geranium. This is. Mm, and potion. <clears throat> see. Potions are in the green bottle. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's part of the millennial trait grab bag. It very much could be. See, I, I hesitate to, to like, I'm not going to self-diagnose myself because, like I, I, like, I just, I don't have that ability. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Um, but I just feel like some of the traits align. Whether I actually have it or not, I have no idea. But I know that I am very easily distracted, very confused all the time. And, um... Yeah, I just I forget what I'm saying a lot of times, so I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's something and it makes it hard to stream sometimes. <laughs> okay. Star. Do, 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 do. Chamomile. Yarrow. And Calendula. Potion. I'm gonna have to go buy more potion models. Inspiration potion. Finished. Finished. Gondules. Oh god. I could throw down on some gondules. God, now I want rice and gondules. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I guess let's go to town and deliver these. Okay, heading out to the village. I should check in on my deliveries from yesterday, but I already helped them. Just to do it? But I didn't give them anything weird. Isn't that just creating more work? But my spells are perfect. I don't like any of these options. It's just nice. I suppose I can find the time. I'm going, I'm going. So, not only do I need to make deliveries today, but I also have to check in on yesterday's deliveries. That full moon ritual better work, or else this is going to be a long two weeks. You arrive at Jean's cafe and peek inside. Might as well check in on Jean first. If it's anything like yesterday, at least it'll be quick. Doesn't seem like he's trying to burn the place down today, so that's good. Maybe I'll just tell Ramsey I paid a visit and sneak... Do you need something? Ah! Jean walks up to you as you're peeking through the window. I was just 
I was just stopping by to ask how the potion worked out yesterday. Mm-hmm. Want to come inside? Uh, sure. You and Jean go into the cafe. Jean walks behind the counter. All the cakes and cookies are so fancy. What's something this fancy doing in a town this small? Would you like a slice of cheesecake? Oh, bitch, you know I would. Yes, please. Jean brings over the most decadent slice of cheesecake you've ever seen. It's dark chocolate with a chocolate crust and shavings on the top. This might be a lot of chocolate. You take a bite. It is indeed a lot of chocolate, but... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you. I made this last night for our anniversary. Mel liked it, so I decided to make another one for today. She liked the potion too, by the way. Why does Jean look so uncomfortable? He wants to leave his wife and come to me. Yeah, for sure. Responsible message to chat. Be sure to check with the trusted healthcare provision. Responsible message to chat. Be sure to check with a trusted healthcare professional if you have concerns about a certain condition. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely that. Is there something going on here? Mel says spells can help people. Is that true? Um. Sometimes. There are a few factors, such as the strength of the intention, etc., etc. Hmm, I see. Mel tries a lot of spells at home. Jean looks over at a trash can. Do you need a spell for some... No. Oh, okay. I'm working on Madeline's for the festival. Oh, are those a type of cookie? They're a cake. Do you have any ready? Can I try one? I'm still working on them. Is it a complex recipe? Mm-hmm, lots of technique. I could probably make a spell to help. Did you say something wrong? Or, yeah, did you say something wrong? If you want. Mm hmm. A customer. Jean stares at you. Don't mind me. I need to get going, anyways. Thanks for the cheesecake. It was incredible. Thank you. You leave the cafe. I guess that was only a little awkward. And I got a delicious cake out of it. I feel like there's a lot of artistry in Jean's work. Huh. What is this strange purple? Why am I sensing purple all of a sudden? The cake definitely wasn't purple. Did he slip something funny in there? Maybe it's because I said there was artistry in Jean's work? Yeah, that seems more likely, but I don't think I've ever had a feeling like this before. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna make a note in my grimoire. Is this friendship? Complete your, complete your first friend event. Aw, oh, look at us. Becoming friends. Talk to Ruth. Time to check in on Ruth. Hopefully everything with the spell went smoothly. And if it didn't, I better not hear about it. At least it's a beautiful day. Maybe getting stuck here for two weeks won't be so bad if the weather stays like this. Tornathan, hello! Good, Ruth looks like she's returned to normal. Ruth, I was on my way to see you. Oh, do you have a spell I requested? Spell? What spell? Uh... It's, um, marinating. Don't worry, I didn't order another spell. Oh, phew. Though I suppose I now know what excuse you'll use when lying. Ooh. Why are all old ladies so conniving? You'll understand when you've seen as much as we have. Anyway, why were you coming to see me? Oh, right. I was just going to ask how the spell worked out. I used the reconnect incense before leaving for my walk. Oh, sorry for interfering then. Somehow, I think that means they're working. But you're supposed to reconnect with the village, right? Which you were part of, at least for the time being. A long walk helps me reground when I'm feeling out of sorts. Do you ever go on long walks? Not really. I don't need to reground. Long naps are my thing. I can cock new experiments to reset. Long naps are more my thing. So I've heard. Like that tree over there, I feel like it's calling me. You can go nap if you want. I probably have work or something else to do. Hmm. You notice Ruth staring off at the village in the distance. She has a sad smile on her face. I'm curious to see how much you help our little village. I imagine it must feel like an overwhelming task. You don't know us, we don't know you, and yet we're relying on each other. What happened to Flora? Change. Some we were prepared for, some that we weren't. At some point, I started feeling like I couldn't keep up. A failing harvest festival was the consequence. That all sounds very cryptic. 
I suppose it does. Perhaps even after all these years, I'm still trying to process it. Do you actually like Flora? Uh, of course I do. It's just at my age you start reflecting a bit more and realize how much you still don't know and how much you could have done but didn't. Still sounds pretty cryptic to me. Don't you ever have thoughts or feelings too hard to put into words? Hmm. I don't like any of these options. Um, it sounds like a lot of effort. Yeah, I guess it is. Because to have thoughts and feelings like that, you have to think about your thoughts and feelings, right? Um, usually, yes. She needs process Cecily. Process Cecily? Sounds ominous, which you are a part of for the time being. Gaming nerd, hello. How's it going, friend? What you up to today? Happy Monday. Process Cecily? Yeah, no. Anyway, I should probably continue on my walk. This village needs its mayor to be in tip-top shape. Sure, I should be on my way too. There's that feeling again. Only this time you sense the color red. Why red? Is something the matter? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Are you sure? Yep. Nope, I'm sure. Um, I really should be going though. Witchy duty calling. Witchy duties calling and all. Bye. You run away from Ruth. Red usually means something with attraction or appreciation. Maybe there's some connection between Ruth and the color red. Maybe something to do with her connection to Flora? Why do I keep having these feelings? What does it all mean? I guess I'll just keep writing them in my grimoire for now. Hey, Fwen. It's going. Just finished running some errands. Now I'm relaxing and watching you stream while I smoke. Ooh, very nice. Well, I'm glad that you are able to unwind now. It's Bob's Burger things. I think it's a front. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't catch the reference. I'm so sorry. You would think that I would. Because I know most of his puppets at this point, but uh, I missed out on that one. I'm so sorry. We need to watch Bob's Burgers, by the way. I think the new episode is out now. I hope you and Nerd Candy are doing well. I am certainly doing well. Nerd Candy is at work, but hopefully it's not a bad day. Hopefully everything's going all right. I've got to hurry up, though, because I, I have to leave here in about 30 minutes. So I've got to wrap this up. Uh, Talk to Devin. These check-ins have gone well so far. I do wonder what those strange feelings I've been having are, though. You walk into the small music studio. Tornathan, my new friend. I didn't order a spell, did I? No, no, I'm just checking in on how the home blessing went. Oh, it was really lovely. Ruth got into it and cooked Nisha and me a huge dinner. We could barely finish all the food. Devin looks away as if they suddenly remembered something. Is everything all right? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking about music. Oops, are you in the middle of composing things? Eh, sort of. More like in the middle of thinking about what kind of things I should be composing. I can get going then if you want. I was just planning on stopping by real quick anyway. No, it's not a problem. Actually, I was thinking about taking a little tea break. Would you want to join me? Would I? Uh, there's nothing more relaxing. Yay, let me get the water going. You take a seat at a little table in the music studio. Devon brings over a tray with two mugs, cream, and honey. God, that sounds delicious. Do you need help with anything? Don't worry, I think I've got... Suddenly, Devon trips over their feet. You get up and catch them and the tray just in time. <gasps> Ooh! We can have some romance. Ooh! Mmm... Do we want to pursue a romance with Devin? Hmm. Phoenix, hi. Good afternoon, or well, good evening for you. Uh, how are things? Nah, okay. Nah, okay. Are you okay? Eesh, yeah. I guess I shouldn't talk and carry things at the same time. At least everything seems alright. 
Let's get it on the table before anything else too exciting happens. Devin pours the tea into the mugs. So this is a music studio. Yep, there are a lot of instruments here too. It's great. Can you play all of them? Ah, no. I mostly play guitar, but I can also play the piano. Can I hear you play something? Oh, um, never mind. You don't have to if you don't want to. Thanks. It's not that I don't want to. It just makes me a bit to makes me a bit to work up the courage. You should probably save your courage for the festival then. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Devin starts to look a little queasy. Maybe it's time to talk about something else. So, how do you like Flora so far? I'm good. Playing some My Time at Sand Rock. Did a small stream for the first time in like over a year. Oh no, I missed it. I didn't see it. But I was probably asleep, to be fair. But uh, that's awesome. How are you liking My Time at Sand Rock? I know our lovely friend Goblin Juju has played quite a bit of My Time at Sand Rock on stream. Um... It was early in the morning. Okay, yeah, I was probably asleep then. <laughs> Especially because I think we have like five hours difference between us. So, yeah, I was probably asleep. It's lovely. Everyone has been really welcoming, even though they all seem a little on edge. I guess it is a pretty busy time right now. My village isn't too dissimilar when we're busy preparing for our festival. Have you made any more friends? Just you so far. Nisha says she will introduce me to some, some of her friends soon, though. Suddenly, Devin grows serious. What's up? I have a question for you. Sure, ask away. You don't seem like that bad of a person. <laughs> wow. Gee, thanks. Sorry, that came out wrong. What I mean to ask is why? Why what? Why don't we have any friends other than me, of course? Hmm. Ramsey is enough for me. Too much drama or meh. Uh, Ramsey is enough for me. But don't you want to talk to other witches sometimes, at least? Witches tend to be pretty solitary, by choice, or is it more lifestyle driven? I guess we do have to study a lot. Well, I don't, but others do. And there's a lot of spending time with nature and stuff, so I don't know. Hard to make time? Hmm. I guess I've spent most of my time with just my gran. We would attend the occasional ritual, but my gran is a pretty solitary person most of the time. I thought the Von Teasels were an illustrious family, though. We are, but I guess you could say they don't like me much. I'm too much, according to them. If it wasn't for Grant, I don't think I would have been trained as a witch at all. I'm sorry, but you must be pretty close to your Gran then. Yeah. But she tell still tells me no all the time, too. Flora sounds like a pretty big change for you, then. I'm enjoying it. been meaning to play it more since I enjoy the My Time series. I never really... I can be absolutely feral for some sand rock. Yeah, I... Like... I've watched a good bit of of uh, my time at Porsche and my time at Sand Rock. I've watched uh, some friends stream both of them. I don't think they would be my type of game, but I like watching other people play them. They're very chill games, and they have like they have like cool storylines and like especially my time at Sand Rock. I feel like you get so much game for your money. I'm gonna be playing some Grounded with a friend who hasn't played it yet. Hopefully tomorrow. Ooh, nice. See, I want Grounded too. Watch your tongue, plebeian. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to insult you or your game. It's lovely. It's just not for me. Um, But yeah, Grounded looks really fun. I have it on my wish list, but I haven't gotten around to purchasing it yet. But uh, I've watched quite a few friends play some of that, and it looks very fun times. I love that Grounded is crossplay. Ooh, I didn't know that it was crossplay. That's cool. Good to know. God, I wish more games were crossplay. Don't worry, I'll help you figure it out. That's what friends are for. Thanks. I appreciate it, really, or I'm glad we're friends. I'm glad we're friends. Me too. Life is always easier when you've got people to help you along the way. Well, I should probably get back to work. Music doesn't write itself, unfortunately. Yeah, I can head out. Glad the home blessing was successful. See ya. Bye. Devin is really sweet. But I wonder if their nervousness will prevent them from following their dreams. This feeling again? The color white? Why am I thinking about that right now? I guess it tends to represent dreams and hopes and stuff. What are these feelings, though? Is this why Ramsey wanted me to check in with these people? I'll write this last one in my grimoire, too. Maybe I'll ask Ramsey and see if he knows anything about them. Alright, let's drop off these potions now. You arrive at Jonas's house and knock on the door. Hello? 
No one answers. You put your ear to the door and hear someone rustling inside. Well, if he's not going to answer the door... Uh, come back later. I have Grounded and I haven't played it yet. It looks really fun. Uh, I watched our friends, the homies of horror, uh, Erica and Roshane. I've watched them play it a good bit. And it looks really, really fun. It seems like something I would enjoy. It's like one of those like survival crafting games. And I just like the concept of, you know, being small and being surrounded by bugs and stuff. Same, I have grounded and not played it. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Talk to Mel. You walk into Mel's office and see her seated at her desk. She's looking down at a sack of paper on her desk intensely while mumbling something. She looks swamped, but Mel, I have your give Mel the overcome charm. Is that it? Is that my spell? Mel snatches the spell from your hands. An overcome charm, yes, made of rosemary, candula, calendula, and do I sense geranium? Wow, how did you know? Oh, I'm just a longtime subscriber of Coven Pollenton. Oh, right. You know it. Of course you know it. I'm reading this with the wrong inflection. You know, you know it. Of course you know it. I do all their rituals. I was doing one just now when you walked in. Their morning go-getter ritual. Have you tried it? Uh, no. How silly of me. Of course you haven't. I'm sure you do much bigger rituals than that. Do you do big rituals? Um, I asked another silly question, didn't I? Though I have another question. I promise this one isn't silly. Okay, but I really have to g You see, I recently tried a ritual from Coven Politan that I don't think worked as it should have. But I'm sure it was me and not the ritual. I'm sure the editors at Coven Politan are very strict about the content in their publication. Anyways, this ritual. Well, it's a little embarrassing, to be honest, because it required the purchase of a jade egg that, um... Oh, no. A jade egg that you put up a certain, um, well... It doesn't matter. It didn't do my What? <laughs> Where did she put this jade egg? Uh, it gives me honey. I shrunk the kid. Oh, yeah, very that they had to take their um, they had to take their inspiration from that. Also, like this conversation is awkward. Why am why is she like telling me about putting jade eggs up somewhere? It doesn't matter. It didn't do much, but Jean had to help me remove. Oh, dear. Her husband had to help her remove it. Oh, dear. So do you know what I possibly did wrong? Uh, that witch writes very advanced rituals. Don't worry about it. That witch is a total phony. Oh, really? Do you know them? Ha, know them? We're arch rivals. That sounds serious. Do you want me to write to the editors and complain? No need. They've already been banned from writing to the magazine ever again. Time to get the subject off of Co Covenpolitan. Mel gives me cramps. <laughs> Not that. She's doing her best, and that's what matters. So, what's the big task you have today? It's a doozy, all right. I thought I had it settled months ago, but of course something comes up and sends all my planning out the window. And of course, they charge you ten times more anytime you need a supplier at the last minute. But people need to relieve themselves, and we can't have that happening in the bushes. Oh, what? Well, her best isn't good enough. True true she needs to do better when she knows better maybe she can do better so we'll tell her not to put jade eggs up inside of her so that her husband has to help her get them out how embarrassing for her her outfit is really cute though the portable toilets yes the portable toilets and i figured a spell could help me i don't think this charm will help you find toilets I know where to find toilets. It's about getting those who have the toilets to take me seriously and give me the toilets. Gotcha. Could someone else just do it? Then show them who's boss. Fantastic. The festival won't be ruined after all. Ruined? Yes, not a single thing can go wrong with this festival or everything will be ruined. Our reputation is at stake. Sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Of course I am. The mayor depends on me to see this through. The fate of Flora is in my hands. Is this the first festival you've helped organize? No, I've helped organize the Floralia Festival for the past five years or so. But this year just feels different. The mayor has stepped aside, whether or not she'll admit it. 
Our chief builder has injured himself, so we now have to rely on my goofball brother. Oh, her brother's kind of the one I want to date, so... Let's kill her. Let's do it. Obviously, she has... She should have ordered the egg with a flared base. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It got away from her. You've got to... You, I don't understand these people who want to not plan for things like that. Like, obviously, that area has some, like, suction motion. So, um, yeah. They take her husband. <gasps> Does she... Oh, yeah. Her husband's kind of hot, too. Her husband, Gene. Yeah. Facts. I could use a husband. He's pretty cute, too. And he's a good baker, so... And even though I'm super excited to have a real witch in town, I can't help but feel like, successful or not, this festival is going to be the beginning of a new life in Flora. Eee, maybe I shouldn't have told you all of that, but there's no time to get down about that. I need to get those toilets. Then figure out the prizes for the pickle eating contest. Oh, we love a good pickle eating contest. Arr, and just go to town on those pickles, right? Mm. And after that, we still need to put together the performance schedule. I wonder how Devin's compositions are coming along. I'll have to check in with him about that. Logistics, logistics, logistics. But everything fine. Wait, everything fine? <laughs> because we have magic. That's right. I feel like that was unnecessary, Juju. Then it's settled. Let's tie her up and gag her. Let's do it. She probably has a gag of her own if she's putting jade eggs up inside of her. My magic is the best, at least for the next two weeks. Yes, yes we do. Only good can come from you being here. I truly believe that. Me too, Mal. Me too. Uh, Mel? Here it is, that feeling. Just your presence is such an inspiration. Time to tell those portable toilets who's boss. You do that. I will. Then I shall leave you to it. Farewell, Mel. Talk to Nisha. I love her outfit, too. Hi, Ren Bear. How's it going? What do you expect? I don't know. What do you expect? You enter the studio to find Nisha sitting cross-legged on the floor. Her eyes are closed, and she's muttering something. You take a few steps closer to figure out what's going on. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. What are you doing? Meditating, obviously. Now you feel your now feel your energy flow through your arms down to your fingertips. Inhale, exhale. You know you're not supposed to talk while meditating, right? Silence is kind of the point. I'm not the one talking. It's my mind. I'm just identifying with what it's saying. Inhale, exhale. Right. Well, I have that spell that you asked for. Give Nisha the inspiration potion. Nisha jumps up from the floor. The frustration melts off her face. Great, that meditation stuff wasn't really doing it for me anyway. Probably because that wasn't really meditation? Ugh, whatever. I just followed what they said to do in Covenpolitan, okay? Does everyone in this town read that? Mel usually leaves issues on her desk. I read them whenever I visit my gran at the town hall. Mel was never heard from again. Ever. And Jean is now happily married to someone else and he'll put jade eggs anywhere and take them out of anywhere that they ask them to mel usually leaves issues on her desk i read them whenever i visit my gran at the town hall i hear you're a pretty big fan too no i'm not in fact i um never mind wait does nisha know about so how's the art coming along oh um well Ah, right, the inspiration potion. Creative block, is it? It's not. I'm not blocked. I'm just trying to reach new heights. It's a process. Okay. Okay, what? You're in a gestation period. I get it. It's not like I asked to be here. If I had it my way, I'd be at art school for the summer with my friends. But Gran just had to throw me her grand eyes when she asked me to paint this mural. I couldn't say no. Grands. Grands indeed. I don't even know why they still put on this stupid festival. No one has cared in like a hundred years. Okay, not a hundred. Since I remember it's still you since I remember when it still used to be fun, like twenty years ago. What made the festival fun back then? Happily married to you, of course. 
I don't know. I was a kid. Everything just felt so much more magical. Farmers came to show off their best crops from that year. Artisans sold all sorts of goods I've never seen before. The first time I asked someone out was to go on a date to the festival. But they said no, and that the festival was lame. So maybe I was always a little more into it than everyone else. Aw. Aw, I would have gone with you, or nothing like your first rejection. <gasps> Should I... I'm leaving this completely up to y'all, the relationship portion of this. Should we keep this as friendship, or should we go out with her? I would have gone with you, or nothing like your first rejection. Let's see. I'm feeling like we'll just keep this friendship, but... Go out with her? Okay. Friendship? We've got one, do we have a tiebreaker? We've got one for go out with her and one for friendship. I'm here for the messiness. <laughs> Gotta have a tiebreaker now. Or I can just pick one. Cause like, I kinda wanted to date uh, Mel's brother, the clumsy one. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going with friendship because I want to go out with a hot guy. Not that she's not cute. She is very cute, but and go for him. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like your first rejection. The first of many from that period, but that's okay. If they knew me now, they'd regret it. So something has changed about the festival. People moved away. And now that I'm older, I guess I see the work it takes to put on. And it's like, for what? The expectation seems so high th this year because you're here. Everyone assumes that means we're going to be a mass ex blah, massive success. Nisha glares at you. But I found that letter your grand wrote my grand. Oh no. And I know all about Coven Politan and why you're here. That explains what Devin said. I've kept the Coven Politan part to myself for now, but don't think I don't have my eye on you. Ooh. Okay, so she probably wouldn't have dated me anyway. She knows all about me and my sketchiness. Because if this festival isn't a success, and if things stay the same way as they are now, I see. Ooh, she's threatening me. Someone sounds a little frustrated you care too much. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Ugh, whatever. Maybe for everyone else involved. Drinking this potion better materialize this mural out of thin air so that I can be done with it all. I thought that you didn't trust my magic. With enough willpower, I can overcome your subpar spells. There are limits to willpower, and also, if you just want to get it done, couldn't you just throw paint on a wall? That's like modern or whatever, right? And endure the wrath of my grand? Absolutely not. Your grand doesn't seem very wrathful. You don't know her like I can. I do. I can see it now. Grand walks up to my mural, looks at it, and she takes a deep breath. Then she turns to me, smiling, and says, How nice! Oh my god, I'm like already melting. Ha! Your grand is too nice? Nice, pleasant, interesting. All things people say when they hate what you've shown them, but they are trying to be kind about it. Sounds much better than the things my grand says to me. She doesn't fake a thing. And at least you know outright that your grand hates you. My grand doesn't hate me, maybe. She's just, um, currently a little disappointed. But fine. I'll make sure to keep an ear out for your grand sinister kindly words. You better. Now I think it's time I downed this potion and got to work. Good luck with that. Okay, so we've got one more potion to deliver, and this is the guy that I want to date, so... You arrive at Jonas's house and knock on the door. Hello? No one answers. You put your ear to the door and hear someone rustling inside. Well, if he's not going to answer the door, leave the potion outside. Give Jonas the leadership potion. You go to leave the potion outside when suddenly the door opens. The potion? Yeah, see, this is the guy. I'm going to try to flirt with him. He, he real cute. Oh, goodness. Oh. The potion. Quick, get inside. Jonas grabs you by the arm and pulls you into his home. Oh, oh. Hey! It's trashed with clothes thrown everywhere. Let go of me. Er, right. Sorry about that. Listen, I need your help. You already have the potion. Well, we'll get to that, but first I need to know. 
does this outfit look leadershipy enough? Um, your next line is, yes, Jonas, you look like a boss. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> yes, Jonas. You look like a boss. Wait, what? Gee, thanks. I really need the confidence boost. How did you... Obviously, I tried on all my shirts, then decided on this one. Duh. No, I'm talking about... Oh, right, the potion. So, do I just drink it? Hang on, I'm the witch here. That's why I'm asking you about the potion. Ugh. You give up. I give up. Yes, you just drink the potion. And then the bottle's been properly sterilized and stuff? Yep. Cool, cool. Jonas starts shifting back and forth. Oh my god, are our Zoidberg quotes not working? I'm gonna have to go through and figure out... I think what happened was, um... Well, I'll tell you about it later. I think I know what's wrong and why some of our quotes have just disappeared. I think, uh, some of them were... Not deleted, but I think they're just not stored on the computer. Jonas starts shifting back and forth. I think I know what's up. There's nothing to be nervous about. You never, you've never used magic before, have you? I've read about it. Yeah, where? In magic books, duh. And what magic books might those be? The ones that people keep on shelves and stuff, obviously. Then you should know perfectly well how to drink a potion. I'll be on my way. No! I mean, totally, sure, but also, can you, like, stay <gasps> oh my god he, he he wants me he wants my body you're welcome for what i mean totally sure but can you stay it's just you know my older sister mel gets that what is it coven politan magazine oh no here we go mm-hmm and i've seen what happens when mel stuck that jade egg up her wow this is really awkward. Like, why would your brother know about you getting a jade egg stuck up inside you? You really don't need to worry about any of that happening with this potion. The spell is completely safe, made by a trained witch and all. If you say so, here goes nothing then. Jonas chugs the potion. Mm -hmm. Polishing off, polishing it off in one go. Kind of makes you want to mess with him. Ooh. Mess around with him or mess with him? But you shouldn't. But you want to. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a pincer in chat. Impressive. Thanks, I've been practicing. Most people just take a sip every morning. I wonder how the effects will change when you drink it all at once. You mean I wasn't supposed to? Why didn't you say anything? Or write something on the label that says, sip once per day. Wait, where's the label on this thing? My first day on the job, and I've already screwed up. I just want to, like, do a good job at this job, you know? I know everyone just thinks I'm some young punk, some young Turk, and maybe they're not wrong about that. But my boss put me in charge, so I want to make him proud, you know? Actually, I kind of don't. Huh? Making people proud isn't something I'm particularly good at. Right, Nisha mentioned you being a flunky witch or something. Ooh, drag him. Did Nisha tell everyone about the letter? But it's not like you want to fail, right? Of course not. So maybe it's sort of the same, but still different. People seem to grow in all sorts of ways. Some just need different fertilizers. Yeah, different fertilizers than others. That came out weird. You're a plant person, so I tried to make a plant analogy, but um, don't worry. I thought it was cute. Ooh, we gonna flirt with him. I thought it was cute. Cute? <gasps> flirt with someone. I got an achievement. <clears throat> I got an achievement for flirting with him. Cute. Oh. Um. Anyway, I guess I should let you get on with your day. Yeah. Um. About the side effects. You'll be fine. But you know where to find me if anything weird happens. Cool. Cool. We'll do. Good luck on your first day. <clears throat> Home. Huh, you've got something for me? <clears throat> Jesus. But only if I give you a treat first? Okay, okay. One crow treat coming up. Wait, 
Didn't I already give you a treat? You sneaky bird. Can't fool me. But I wanted another crystal. We watered everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I guess it's time to go to bed. Did I check in on everyone today? Sounds like everyone got a... <clears throat> Jesus. Sounds like everyone... <laughs> what is wrong with my voice? <clears throat> My god. Okay, sounds like everyone appreciated their spells. I gotta try some of Jean's cake. And I had tea with Devin. Then I think Ruth is kind of depressed or something. Maybe she needs to have tea and cake. Yep, it sounds like we're still on track for the full moon. I'm not sure if something's wrong per se, but I had these strange feelings after checking in with people today about their orders. Like after talking to them, I started sensing colors. I think the colors relate to them, but I'm not sure. I wrote them all down in my grimoire, but I don't know if the information is useful or not. You don't know either? Hmm, I guess I'll keep writing these feelings when I get them. Yeah, I couldn't hurt. Are you ready to end the day? Yes. Did you stop by the shop? I did not. Let me do that. Because I've got a little bit of money now. I'm guessing this 280, I'm guessing that's money. Probably hydrate. I've been reading for a while. True. This, this is a lot of reading. Uh, yeah, let me go to the village and go to the shop. Maybe I have enough money to buy something. I know I need some potion bottles. Okay. Um, bottle. Buy. Um. Broom. A dirty old broom. Same. Locket. A broken locket. Hourglass, an elegant antique hourglass. Three thousand dollars. Good lord. Candle holder, six thousand dollars. Teapot, seven thousand dollars. Good god. A simple leather journal, five thousand dollars. Good god. Okay. Well, we're just gonna buy some bottles. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna leave now. And then we'll go to bed. Okay, we already read all of this. Are you ready to end the day? Yes. Alrighty. <clears throat> I think that will be it for today. Oh, goodness. Because I got to get ready to go. <clears throat> I have somewhere I've got to be at 3.30. So I will see you all soon. Let me see if there's anybody on that we want to raid. corner is playing Reka. Okay, I want to go see Reka. So, um, I am gonna go because I really want to play this game. Uh, it's called Reka. It's a, it's a witchy game. It's another witchy game. So we are gonna go say hi to Peyton's corner. So let me put up our raid messages. 
it has been real friend be safe and enjoy the rest of your day you too i hope you have a very chill rest of your day i'm glad you got all your stuff out of the way rick it looks awesome it does i can't wait to play it it's on sale right now and i kind of want to get it while it's on sale but um i think i need to wait until next pay period but we'll see but uh anyway thank you for the raid messages i appreciate that we're gonna go raid peyton's corner also if you all don't know peyton's corner she is a cozy game streamer and she streams and makes a lot of youtube videos um she's very sweet she's very cutesy um plays a lot of chill indie games and she has a fantastic channel on youtube and on twitch so we're gonna go say hi to peyton's corner I'm waiting until it gets functioning properly on Steam Deck. Understandable. <clears throat> yeah, because I know sometimes when stuff first comes out, it's not um, it's not optimized entirely for the, the Steam Deck, but hopefully it won't take too long. But we're going to go say hi, and we're going to go from one witchy game to another witchy game. But y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, friends. Okay, everybody, if you could copy and paste the messages i would really appreciate it because they don't get many raids because they stream early in the morning so uh if y'all could copy and paste the messages i would appreciate that very very much but uh yeah i will talk to y'all later bye friends